We are talking about the movie that was made on Sylvia Nobel's book, Deadly Sanctuary. You've got, I don't know, what, a half dozen now? Well, there's uh, four more in the series, mm. and we're hoping we can do number two. Movies, now you've got the movie book, don't you? I do, I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> and Pete's your movie guy. Now, Pete, he you, is. You were the uh, producer, cinematographer, editor for Deadly Sanctuary. How'd you two get together? How'd you find each uh, other to well, do Well, we movie? met on the previous production that he was working on, and... Um, we got to know each other really well during the location scouting. We did a lot of location scouting, and there was four months of pre-production. So, What goes into pre-production? I mean, obviously, you, you said location, so you're going to go say, oh, this would be a good spot for this scene, and you know, that kind of thing. That goes without saying, but what, what else do you have to do? The paperwork is lots of planning. Oh, a lot oh, of planning, a lot of okay. the paperwork, the casting. Storyboards, I don't know, all kind of mm -hmm. stuff, huh? Everything. It, yeah. it was True it was mind-boggling. Different really than for writing me. the book. Completely so much different. different. I mean, he's experienced at this, but it was my first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, well. and he was very helpful. <laughs> and I read Deadly Sanctuary years ago and loved it. I mean, years ago when I worked for the newspaper, you know. So I'm very familiar with Kendall and her escapades, and, and the fact that it became a movie was really fun. So, um, what's it like to make a film? I mean, mm. it's kind of general, but. It's different than writing, obviously. It's a lot less magical than people might think. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. a lot more that goes into it than you would imagine. I mean, you learned a lot about you know, oh. the types of things that you would have to do that I you did. didn't, didn't realize. No, I didn't realize that I would have so many things to do as a producer. Uh, one of the things I did that was fun was I doubled for a lot of the uh, long shots in the Jeep for our star. Nice. Because you're about the same size, you've got. Uh -huh. Of course, I, I've always red said hair. Kendall has got to be, you know, sort of autobiographical, but maybe more what you want to do. This great adventure, yes. kind of thing. But yes. she's got this, uh, the same great hair. Yeah. So you're in the movie. I'm in the movie, and that's mm -hmm. part of the movie magic because when you see some of those long shots of the Jeep, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't tell. You think it's Kendall. But you yeah. can't tell. Well, I mean, we had to work with. You know, I found out so many things. I had to work with. We had to work with. Wes other issues. We had to work with heat. Uh, one of the big problems was wind. And it really was sad because we wanted to use a drone for some of the overview shots. Sure. We could never use the drone. We couldn't get it up. It would the blow wind away. never stopped the entire time. We had no clouds. The only clouds we got were the pickup shots that we did in September after the monsoon. And that's when we got some of the beauty shots and the sunset and the sunrise shots. Mm -hmm. And you were stunt standing, as we find out as well, on sort of <laughs> <laughs> double. <laughs> well, I'm sure lots of things happened. What would you say the most memorable parts of making Deadly Sanctuary were? Well, speaking of stunts, <laughs> we had Walter Scott. Well, we had Walter Scott come in from uh, Hollywood. He's a veteran. He's been working in Hollywood forever. And we were so lucky to get him. And we had him for one day. We had to get everything done in one day. We worked from dawn till dark, till Literally. the sunset. Mm -hmm. And Pete got to work with him, and that was really fun for Pete. And uh, he went from our movie to American Sniper. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you had Eric Roberts, yeah, yeah Julia right. Roberts' brother, and he, he did a good character. He played the editor. Yeah. Dean Cain was the sheriff. Was yeah, we yeah, had yeah, Daniel right, Baldwin, right. too, as Dr. Price. Yeah, very fun, good cast. And they and were fun to acting. work with. Yeah. And where can people find a Deadly Sanctuary? Because it's out now and they can watch it. It is. It's available from Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Nice. Yeah. And it was filmed all in Arizona. Mm -hmm. All. All right. And, of course, you're the film camera cinematographer guy. Mm -hmm. Any special stuff? I mean, we've got some before and afters that are kind of amazing. So wh what did you use? It's more people than tools, but the mm. tools are very, very important. And uh, we had one of the first Steadicam operators ever, Ron Vidor. So he brought a lot of great uh, choreography and motion to the shots with his Steadicam moves. And besides the Steadicam, I used the Movi, which is a uh, brushless gimbal uh, electronic stabilizer. And I did a shot where I walked backwards in front of the horses for two minutes. It's uh, one long, continuous take in the film.
Interesting. Uh, Sounds like Birdman. They did that continuous take thing, which I didn't even catch on to until somebody mentioned it mm -hmm. and then you notice it. But there's all kinds of tricks that you don't notice in a movie, but that make it really interesting to see. Night for day, day oh, for night, yeah. the lighting. Yeah, we showed some before and after. It's like, <laughs> like I say, that's the movie magic that you know that you have to do behind the camera, but mm -hmm. out in front, we don't, we don't see it. No. Any other like crazy things, uh, difficult scenes? What were maybe the most difficult scenes? Probably working with the baby was difficult. Oh, yeah. We had to work around her sleeping schedule, and everybody just sat around, waited, you know. For the but, baby to cry or wake up yeah, or go to sleep. She did a good job. <laughs> she was only five months old. Oh, and then working with the animals. The animals, was, the tarantulas, they weren't very cooperative. Yeah, you had tarantulas <laughs> like in a bathtub, I think, so it's like, whoa. Oh. Yeah, one yeah. of the behind the scenes uh, things that people will never know is the tarantula wrangler. And it was difficult for Pete because I think they had to do 10 or 12 takes on this. They had to keep the tarantulas apart or they would fight. They'd beat each other up. They're yeah. trappers. Yeah, so she, they had to keep separating them. It's like, you hold on that one. Okay, one, two, three, let go. No. Well, and you, you had some cows. You, had, you mentioned horses. You had all kinds of... Oh, we uh, had a cow that thought it was a dog. It actually uh, woke me up one morning. He was banging around outside the RV walking on the deck and uh, I was glad I was up because I got this great sunrise that's in the movie. Hey, so. see, you know, you never know. The yeah. cow said, hey, get the sunrise, Pete. Right. Come on. <laughs> it, it worked out. Well, again, I've seen Deadly Sanctuary. It's so fun to watch. And, you know, good job, Pete. And obviously, Sylvia, for a great book. And uh, you wrote the screenplay as well? Uh, I co-wrote it with Bower okay. UC. So uh, it turned out really well. Thanks so yep. much for joining us on Deadly Sanctuary, filmed in Arizona. Good and you can Arizona find it local at crew. Target, Amazon. Yes, yeah. local crew, yay. Jobs in Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Pete Brown, thanks for joining us. And also Sylvia Nobel. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go away.